This is $5,000. Is it possible to take $5,000 and turn it to $10,000 within a week? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I have never ever done in my life on camera. We're gonna be taking not five, not four, not three, not two, but one, hmm. Should I take 500? Should I take a thousand? Let's start with $1,000. Listen, man, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now listen, you could start with $500, but I wanna be more realistic with our sale. The reason why I wanna start this challenge with $1,000 is because think about it. If you start with $1,000, you have more money to scale. If you start with $200, $300, it's going to kind of be slow for you to kind of get your money. So if you don't have $1,000, this is what you can do to get $1,000. Go fill out a job application and then come back to this video. But I'm gonna show you what we already have got. If you wanna start with 500, you can. This phone right here, I picked it up yesterday. It's an iPhone 13, it's only for parts. I bought it for $80, I'm gonna resell it for 120. It's already sold. I bought this, this is an XS Max. I got this for $110, it's factory unlocked. I got a story behind that. Um, I got this one, this is an iPhone 12. iPhone 12, 64 gigabyte for T-Mobile. I got it for $120, right? So that's already four phones and it's another phone. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I got videos of everything. This is what we gonna do. I want y'all to come with me. I already got a deal lined up on the way. We gonna do this thing and I'm gonna show y'all how it's done. How long is it gonna be able to turn $1,000 into a profit? Time to go get his bread, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, but I need a haircut. Boy, I look hideous. But listen, man, you better go drive. About 20, about 30 minutes, I'll pick up this phone. Profit probably gonna be about $100. Let's go do it. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I'm doing this for y'all, man, to, to show y'all that it could be done. You gotta look at it like this, right? You can sit at home, play the video game, go do some BS, or you can go try to make some money. Think of it like this. I'm gonna take you that long to go get it. I already told dude how much I'm about to get it for. We're gonna come, then we gonna list it, and then we gonna on to the next deal. Wait for it to sell, and just like that. So it's good. We just got our Walmart. We about to wait for dude to come. He said he gonna be in like 10 minutes, so as I wait for him, I'm just gonna look for some other phone, see what we can get while we waiting, bro, cause you know, time is money. Sometimes what I like to do, I just go Facebook. I just be start searching. It don't really matter what it is. I just look if I like it, then I message the people. And it's just kind of what it is. Cause I feel that if you just sit and not doing anything, then you kind of missing out on money. And then sometimes if I can't find that on um, Facebook or whatever, I might just go to offer up. Go back to offer up and just keep searching. You put iPhone. No matter what you put, just put iPhone. Let me see what we see what comes out. Cause I'm telling you, I get deals like this all the time though. Sometimes people, a lot of times people, they just be having stuff they try to just really get rid of. You get what I'm saying? And if you can, most of the time, this right here, this fake right here, I ain't gonna lie. Nobody's selling that. Like anytime you see something that's like, oh, what is it? iPhone 13 Max 144. Nah, come on. But yeah, sometimes people, they just don't be knowing what they have. And then sometimes people just want, sometimes people just want money. So I do this for a couple times out of the day. And I just look for phones. This is what you got to do though. If you really want to like scale this, like you got to do what other people don't do. You can still post ads, but you can do groundwork too. You can get on these apps, these selling apps and just look for phones. That's it. And then eventually you come across some stuff. That's it. This guy is kind of wasting my time, so I'ma just end up leaving. And then what's about to happen right next is gonna be kind of crazy. So stay tuned. This was gonna give you two fifteen. Do they got this in all Walmart? Not all of them, but a lot. A lot of them. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little Walmart on Stable Seven. Yeah. Right now they're stuck down. You go at two thirty. All right. I appreciate you. Go right now. Y'all have a good day. Just tell y'all what happened, right? So the dude, he wastes my fucking time, bro. It be like that. But as I'm going out of Walmart, I see a girl right here. I see this girl, she about to trade her phone into this shit, right? I'm like, what phone you trading in? She told me an iPhone 13. It's clean, bro. Like, ain't got no iCloud on it. Nothing, right? So I'm like, shit, if I give you 240, you'll let me get it? She like, yeah. I was like, damn, I told her 240. I should've told her I had 220. I got this shit for 230. You know I'm gonna resell it for three Bs at least. It's a profit, it don't even matter. Like even if you only sell it for 260, it's still a profit. At least 
I didn't come to Walmart for, for no buzz ass shit, bro. He wasted my time. Sometimes it's gonna be like that. Like sometimes people are gonna come and they're gonna waste your time. That's just a part of the game. But we got an iPhone 13. It's good. I'm gonna see if I can unlock it. If I can unlock it, it might be a go. We gonna have to see. We out later. So when I got the phone from the girl, I literally walked to my car and started just taking pictures because I knew instantly how much I could sell for. I mean, I guess it's because I've been doing this for so long. I already know deals like when I see them. Like I know for a fact, like I had it in my gut. Like, bro, I'm gonna post this right here. I'm gonna take pictures of it. I'm gonna post it. I posted it on Facebook and I posted it on OfferUp. I didn't want to post it on eBay because I didn't want to deal with that because the thing about eBay, if you post on eBay, most of the times it will go good, right? I don't really want to deal with eBay because yeah, you might can make a little bit more money, but sometimes it's just better to get cash. If you sell on eBay, right? For something like this iPhone 13, right? You sell a phone, someone gets the phone, it's a possibility they can return it, right? So we have to wait on the return and then you have to list it again. If you sell locally for just straight cash, you ain't got to worry about none of that. All you really got to do is put the phone on offer up Facebook and wait for the sale. And then when you guys meet up, you make a profit. eBay still can be good. It just sometimes when you get certain type of phones, you will get a return just because people, they just like to play games. And this was like, man, I know I could just make quick, 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 quick cash because we you know we are doing a video. So I wanted to show you guys like how fast we can move to the next deal. So continue to watch the video because what's going to happen is kind of crazy. Four hours later. He right now. Same shit. Awesome. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I think he is. Oh. I think he is. I don't know. How you doing, bro? You all right? Yes, sir. For sure, for sure. So let me walk you guys up today. As you know, I listed the phone on Facebook and offer up for $340. And when I listed the phone, I was getting so many messages. It was crazy. I was getting offers like 200, 240, 250, 280. I also got a lot of people that was inquiring about the phone. So many people was asking me, is the phone available? Is the phone available? And I would say yes, and then they would stop replying. But I already knew in the back of my head how much I really wanted to sell the phone for. And this one particular guy gave me the exact same price that I had the phone listed for. So I was like, all right, cool. So he asked me where I'm located. I told him I was in Hollywood. I gave him an address. And then I told him to let me know you uh, need five minutes away. And that's how we get to this point right here um, in the video. So listen, man, watch the video. This is how the transaction gonna go. Hope you guys enjoying the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and let's go get his money. Okay then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When well, I seen you pull up and you was looking, I said that's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's him right there. Yeah. It's discreet and you won't be and we got eyes on us so we yeah. both safe. For sure, for sure. Fact, you smart. Damn right, you my type of nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's unlocked. Nah. It's for T-Mobile. And Metro. Yeah. That's what I want. Oh, see, yeah, you yeah. good. This shit got 98 battery life, bro. Man, we lit. Yeah. There you go, family. Man. Catch up. I was just doing it. Bye. How your day going so far? My man? day vibing, bro. I can't complain, bro. Better. No motion. When I when I do the cash out, I have people take their own shit in too. Yeah, cause yeah, like, cause yeah. like, cause what, cause once you can send it, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot of deal. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Right there. You in love? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay, pay him. Hit pay him. I'm gonna thumb on that bill. You, you can just put uh put off on. Uh, yes sir. That's how you like yeah. it. Yeah, straight. Successful business man. Better right. You better drop the taxes on this shit, man. Right it off. Expense. Shit sound interesting as fuck, boy. It's fun. Yo, be good, bro. Be safe, all right? Yeah, bro, I'm on the road, bro. What's up, bro? You too, bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's hot as fuck here, bro. I'm sweating right now, but hey, that's how you do it, bro. Right now it's like 6:21, so I might have to call this shit at the uh, end of the day, and on to the next day. When I woke up, uh, I sold this on eBay. It's an XS Max. It's a 528 gigabyte. No, five. Sorry, 512 gigabyte. I want to show you guys that you can get all type of phones for good for good prices. If you look right here, the LCD is bad, right? The LCD is bad and it's cracked on the back. When I was talking to the lady, she wanted 150 for this, right? What I did to make this phone get unlocked, because I already knew if it's an XS Max, most likely it can be unlocked. So what you want to do, anytime you get an AT&T phone, always go on this website right here. So you want to go on this website, right? It's att.com slash device unlock. After that, they're going to ask you, do you have a mobile number from AT&T? You want to put no. 
then you're gonna put uh, the IMEI number of the phone that you're trying to unlock. I'm gonna put my IMEI in just to show you how the process is gonna work. My phone doesn't unlock, but I just wanna show you how the process works. After that, you put that in, go that, then you're gonna go right here where it says next. You cannot unlock the device and start to pay it off. Yeah, my phone ain't paid off. But if the phone is paid off, it's gonna have like a blank uh, screen and it's gonna say, well, sorry, it's not gonna have a blank screen. It's gonna have uh, like things where you gotta fill out like your name, your number, email address, and then and then they're gonna send you a, a confirmation email through your uh, email address. And that's just how that goes. You wanna do this because this is gonna allow you to make more profit. Because anytime the phone is unlocked, automatically you can make at least $100 more. Well, off rip, I automatically know if I get it for $110, I'm automatically gonna make at least 80 to dollars That's exactly what we did. After the fees on eBay, we profit $90. This is the iPhone 13, I got it for $80. I gotta sell for 120. So what we gonna do right now, we're gonna package these items, we're gonna take it to the post office, and we're just gonna get it rocking. Let's run it. <clears throat> it's hot outside. I'm giving y'all some realistic results. I know the challenge was supposed to be turning a thousand dollars into, I don't know, probably two thousand, fifteen hundred. Well, I just wanted to see how much money I can make if I start with a thousand dollars. Technically, I didn't even start with a thousand dollars because the first phone I had bought it was an iPhone 12, it was 128 gigabyte. I bought it for $140. A day after that, I sold it for $360, right? And then after that, I bought an XS Max iPhone 13 that was for parts. And I bought the iPhone 13. I bought that phone for $230. I sold all the phones. After all fees, after everything, swear, bro, we are at $220. That's a total profit of $480. And we still got this phone. I bought this phone for $120. This is an iPhone 12. Now, I can sell this for $80 to $130 in profit. I can sell it today. It's a total profit of $560 in like three to four days. You can't tell me that's not fire. Because look, what you got to understand, right? This is realistic results. We're not going to jump in anything and just bank like that. You adding $560 to whatever money that you make every month, that's great. I, I'm not even starting with a lot of money, bro. All you got to do, go on Facebook Marketplace, go on OfferUp, Nextdoor, any app that people sell things on. Look at how much they are selling it for. Then what you want to do so you can get a price point. Once you go on eBay, you want to copy what you see on Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp. You want to put it into their search engine. After you see the listings, then you want to go to sold listings. Once you go to sold listings, you're going to have an idea of how much the phone is selling for. Then you simply negotiate on your terms, whether you're trying to make $50 or $100. Stay tuned for the video. I'm about to drop these packages off and I'm going to see what the day takes us. A few moments later. Yeah. What's up, bro? How you doing? You all right? Yeah, but this is fine right here. Check that. Hold it. Metro and T-Mobile, right? Yeah, she got Metro. You know, you know you're gonna have to call Metro and connect it and stuff like that, right? Okay. Let me show you the IME got good though. Ah, yeah. uh, Zelle? Nah, because my Zelle don't work. Cash out, but if you pay with cash out, you gotta throw like $10 extra though. Yeah, it's clean though. Alright, cool. Can do 200 for me? Nah, bro. 220? 220. Can't do 220 cash. 220. You do 220. 220. I'm just like me, bro. <laughs> you said, just like me. I ain't mad at you. One, two, three, four, five. Appreciate it. All right, bro. Yeah, be have a good day. Easy. <laughs> it's too easy, baby. Made a hundred dollars off that phone. I was about to go to the gym, and he was like, "Oh, I can meet you now." I'm like, "The gym? Let me go get this." $220 and I knew I was gonna sell it. Y'all remember what I said? I can sell this for 80 to $130 in profit. I'm trying to show y'all that y'all can make this money too. It's not that much money, you feel me? But if you keep going, you keep you keep building up your capital and then eventually you gonna have what you need to have. So we back at the crib. I just wanna let y'all know it was a great day. And I know for a fact, y'all can do the same thing that I just did these last couple of days. I made this video simply for y'all, so make sure y'all like it, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe to you. So look, we gonna go over the uh, the numbers and how much money we made in the last couple of days. First phone we got, we got an iPhone 12 that at 140. We sold that, $360. Yeah, I seen we got the iPhone 12, the other iPhone 12, bought that for 120, sold that for 220. And we got this XS Max, got that for, what is it? 
$110. Then we got another iPhone 13 for $230. Sold that for $350. And then the last one, another iPhone 13. It was uh it was like for parts, iCloud, password, whatever you want to call it. Bought it for 80, sold it for 120. That's a total profit. And all together, $580. You can do this. Right? I didn't start with a lot of money. Even though in the beginning of the video, I said I was going to start with a thousand, I technically did not start with a thousand. It's like I bought a phone and then I sold it and then I bought another one and then another one and it just. Yeah, I kind of started with $140, bro. I really started with $140. You can do this if you put your mind to it, but don't rush it. Anytime you're trying to rush on it, it's, it's never going to be good. Like, you got to just take your time, bro. This is how I started, you feel me? A lot of people be like, oh, I don't like my job, da 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 all this other stuff. Bro, listen, it's okay if you have a job. There's nothing wrong with having a job. Understand the mindset that you have. Like, if you don't want to work at your job, then work towards leaving your job but you just can't get up and leave because that's your source of income you have to create a side hustle or find a niche it has to replace your main income that's what i did i didn't have a job like in six years and then look it's not always roses a lot of people that you think bro sometimes we all going through stuff like i'm gonna be honey with you this been my worst year since the pandemic bro this shit been kind of tough but i know i can like i know i can still you know what i'm saying put my hands in a couple things to make some bread you know what i'm saying i just gotta get busy Whenever you're not making money, it's because we're not getting busy.